All right, welcome back to another episode of She the NBA Junkie and V Ball Junkies. Uh, y'all know who we are. Again. Oh, we got a lot to discuss now that the season is finally underway and we are a week in. 2023 mm-hmm. is finally underway, so um, starting mm-hmm. off, it, it was our two teams starting off tonight. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they played. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was um, like, am I tripping? No. <laughs> so we ain't got to talk about ours. Hey, man, unfortunately, we are going to hit on that because y'all had me thinking that the Nuggets was just like, okay, I don't know, it's kind of hard to judge. Watching y'all's game, I was like, oh, God, the Nuggets look better than what they did in, in June. But I mm. think that that was just a rough night for y'all. Now that I'm looking at, like, I've watched some of their games after. They look, I don't think they can play that well again. Like, they played we really lost well. By, I think we lost by, it like, like it, it wasn't a lot. At one point, it was four points with, like, four minutes or six minutes left in the fourth when LeBron went out the game. Or and LeBron got subbed out. Yes. Yeah, that's, he pulled them. That's, oh, Jesus. I have so much. Actually, I do have a lot to say about that game. I'm hot. I'm so hot. Yeah, we lost by I 12. I'm so tired. Yes. And y'all could have won. And I thought y'all were about to win because y'all do that crap all the time. <laughs> Come back on team. We yeah. have no business. They were down, they were down like 24 or something. We were down 20. That was the most it got to. But we can <laughs> shoot a little bit now. And so it came back. I mean, it's it's the yeah. same as last year. It's the same as last year every time with them. Um, they can't – Denver can't play without Jokic. So, anytime they go to the – or he goes to the bench, the lead will <laughs> – it'll start to shrink again on most nights, I'll say. I'll give their bench a, a – they'll probably play a little bit good. But missing Bruce Brown is going to be consistently, I would think, that yeah. the minus is going to be when he goes off the court. But, you know, whatever. That being said, we were down, all that good stuff. I think it in just comes down sense, simple to this. If if AD scores another point. Huh? Exactly. That's the problem. AD is the problem. He's making me so effing mad. Why are we still relying on the 40-year-old man to carry the team? Take over the reins. AD the one who just said yeah, he ain't taking it no more from, from, from the Nuggets. He just yeah, that was after, from What game was that? That was after our second game. Oh, versus y'all. That's where LeBron said that um about ad but if if he just scores in the second half you know we may win i'm that talking game. about zero zero <laughs> points not a point Jeez. no offensive i mean no rebounds in the first half it, uh, mm. it was yeah, a mess that's, you know whatever that's game it one for us it was it was very bad sloppy Le, uh lebron was short on minutes um austin reeves minus 14 uh, since we're already there, it's kind of it's kind of been a struggle for him this offseason. Well, they they're are hunting him. They yep. are hunting him, and so um, I don't know. Uh, it seems he's a little rattled, shaken, like his confidence is mm-hmm. shaken. Um, and that can't this happen. So <laughs> I, I don't understand. He was just showing out in FIBA, and now you get back to hey. I mean, there you go. That that shows you the difference in competition level for that boy who said that we're not the best in the world. There you go. Somebody who looked like a freaking all-star in FIBA can no longer play basketball. I don't know what's wrong with him. I mean, I wouldn't say he can no longer play basketball. He's still playing good. He's just he's just he's being attacked now. And there's game planning for him. And it's different. That is, it's just like a, a freshman who comes on to the varsity and destroys everybody in the district. And then next year it's different. Tell me why Katie just came from my mind. Not. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how I mean he what did he his and his minutes it, it's went down. Or no, it went up. So yeah, he's been it's been kind of steady since these first four games. So his minutes have been cut, but eleven, five the in sack, ten points and fourteen the first night. So I mean it's been a tough a tough start to the season for him, but I think he'll catch. He's a, he's too good of a shooter not to. Um, he's been minus the whole whole season as of yet. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we got to figure out a way. 
to um, help the defense on that. But second game, we go ahead and take down the Suns. I'll say oh, it, uh, a depleted oh. Suns. We skipped over our win that we had on opening night <clears throat> against the, well, previous, previous champs. Whereas Very relevant Devin now. looked like the best player in the world that night. Mm. But, um, mm. You yeah. must not have watched the first game <laughs> when uh, uh, the uh, Jokic started Jokic off don't count because AD is freaking won't guard him. He's like terrified of him. That doesn't count. Mm. Okay. Devin might have had six turnovers. We'll just ignore that. Pretend that didn't happen and focus on the 32-8-6. Whereas he had to put the team on his back again because KD acting like he don't know how to play basketball. So, yeah. Y'all beat the yeah, uh, yeah, can. beat the what are they called the Warriors in a very you know a new Warrior team to be fair. Ah, Chris Paul played great, by the way. Gotta give my lovely point guard some flowers. He's been playing good, but I mean that's to be expected. He doesn't ever play. He doesn't go to a new team and play bad. Um, yep, yep. But yeah, y'all got that first win coming into LA game two. Very close game. KD breaks, or not breaks the scoring. He goes up and passes. Who did he pass? Uh, Hakeem. 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 Yeah. He passed Hakeem for now. He's 12th in all-time scoring. Wasn't enough to get the to get the job done. We finally, you know, we came up, clutched up, and won the game. But that's the story. Because he ran out of itself. gas. And everybody yeah. else ran out of gas. Y'all really should have lost that game, which is really embarrassing. I'm interested we in a... Uh, 12. Yeah. But I'm interested because when he's not like it was crazy that it would look like high school or elementary basketball that when you have one good player and if you just guard the one good player, nobody else knows what to do. And that's what the no. whole like last five minutes of the fourth quarter was like for y'all. And so and that I was, was so funny confused to me. Because they were scoring so well in the third quarter, even in the second. And I'm like, what we happened? turned up the defense. We turned up the defense. Oh, well, we God, care. no defense. Y'all have no defense. Crazy. KD was number shooting one. right over y'all's doubles and dribbles. He but he should, he does that against everybody. We had number one defense eh. in the league last year. So no defense is crazy. Is y'all suck. We will. Once we we can guard if we don't start out lethargic. And it's, oh my gosh, it's been every single game that they look like they don't want to play. And it, it yeah. really pisses me off. It's every year. I'm not going to lie. It's been, it's been every single year that it does that. that the Lakers play like this. But I hate that they start so slow and they act like they don't want to play. Yeah. But I believe y'all were just in a dog fight with uh, Orlando last night. So, yeah. It's, we're in it's a dog every fight game. every night. It's every <laughs> night. We get a lead and it goes away like that. I mean, it's every single night. Um, so, yeah, we beat the Suns, you know, lost to the, uh, a game we shouldn't have lost to in Sacramento. Um, and then finally, like you said, we beat the Mav- Magic. Um but um, to end on my Lakers before we get to the other teams, I'm liking what I'm seeing. We need to figure out some uh, some of the defensive things and the lineups, really. I think once we get the lineups together, it's going to be very scary. I like that LeBron, Christian Wood, and AD lineup. That's what got us back into that game versus uh, the Suns. And um, that lineup is scary. Nobody in the league can guard that lineup. So we just got to figure out the two guards that's going to run with it. I'm – um. I'll end off my little soliloquy with I'm hopeful. <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a struggle. Every game is like a movie for the Lakers. You know, we got the climax and we go down. It's like that. But I'm hopeful. This isn't two and ten like last year. So hmm. and your sons have had how many other games since or they've had another game, so Yes. Um you're hopeful, but I am ecstatic because my team is blowing out teams and we're not even fully healthy. So, um, you know, lost to y'all by five. We didn't have Devin this time. Didn't have Brad. So I, I'm, I'm chilling, you know. Uh, it makes me feel like once we get at full strength, nobody is catching us. And I can't wait until we get to play Denver to prove it because I really feel like that's the only team that's in our way. Uh, we'll talk about that other team a little bit later but um 
So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with <laughs> – actually, I do know what's going on. They're injury-prone, so, I mean, it's not crazy hey, to be injured Brad already. He's not injury-prone. He's definitely injury-prone. Yes. But Brad, yes, for sure. All three of them are. And They've I, been I injured <laughs> last four or five seasons. Yes, yes, Brad especially. He, he hasn't even played over, like, 50 games in the past three seasons. And you go and trade for him and think he's going to be the savior. And he's doing the same thing. I, I called that, you know? I'm liking what I'm seeing from Eric Bledsoe. But, I mean, he does that. Not Eric Bledsoe, I'm sorry. Um, What's his name? Eric Gordon. Gordon. That's I, I got my back in the day 2K, <laughs> my sons and Eric Bledsoe. Um, but, yeah, he he's playing good. He's doing what he normally do, taking them deep-ass threes yeah. and yakking them. Um, sons are, I'd say, you know, they're legitimate. Very, very legitimate yeah. until they're excited. Until Jokic, I mean, uh, Yusuf Nurkic gets matched up with Jokic, Embiid, no, Chris Stapps, AD, Giannis. Ooh, mm, that's he gonna be much. That's yes. gonna be that was slight. AD had okay, 30 well, he on his head. Trouble. He got in foul trouble. That's yes. the problem. They call some AD BS had fouls 30 on, on his head. AD having 30 doesn't mean y'all are going to win games. So, I mean, eh. AD, if AD scoring 30 and it accompanied by 20, re- 20, I mean, 15, I mean, sorry, not 15, 12 rebounds with a handful of blocks. Wasn't that's very Nurkic good letting AD shoot? I think he was letting AD shoot. He was just stepping back, letting him shoot, if I'm not that's mistaken. The, that's the game plan. But, I mean, he him. still has to make it. That, that's the game plan, though. They make LeBron and AD shoot, but. Because, I mean, you can't take them downhill. Like I said, they call the foul. Because, I mean, you have to foul. AD's too fast for these big dudes. Eh. Um, but Sun's a legitimate contender as, I mean, nobody's faulting that. And if they are, you probably should rethink what you're doing <laughs> in life. Um, who else uh, caught your attention these last couple games this week? Uh, In a good way? Obviously, the Nuggets. We ain't got to talk about them. It's yeah, to be expected the way they ran yeah. the league. But yeah. the Celtics. The Celtics look great. JT looks great. Jalen Brown, eh, up and down. <laughs> Chris Stops is obviously proving himself to be, like, the Bonafide second option from the games that I've seen. Like, it's JT, Chris Stops has moved up, and now it's Jalen Brown. So, I felt like Jalen is trying to, like, especially last game. He kicked it in last game, but these past couple of games, he just been like jacking shots just to prove that he's still the second option. And Chris Stops actually scoring proves that he's kind of like not. It's like 2A, 2B, and Jalen is 2B. So, mm. yeah. They look good. They look scary. But their bench still doesn't put fear in my heart. Their starting lineup is scary. But once they get to the bench, I feel like any other team can compete with them. Mm. Um, who else? Do we do we have to talk about the Bucks? <laughs> Dame, uh, freaky time. I mean, <laughs> freaky time is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. It's ridiculous. I mean, they're 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 sitting at four right now, but like I said, it's early, so it doesn't really matter. But they're gonna they're gonna win. It's Giannis. It's Brooke. The the defense is too good at that. Just just that the defense is way too good off of those two. So they'll win a lot in the East. Having another superstar leave, it's just getting weaker. So I mean, yeah, these those two teams are just gonna dominate. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, um, I think he had a bad game. That's what it was. That he had like six points. What, what was it? Uh, Damian Lillard. Damn. When did he have that bad game? I think it was against the Hawks. Because I'm pretty. Wait, was it? Yeah, they lost. Yeah, they were getting blown it was against out. the Hawks. Were uh, oh, he did have plates. six. Stun, he sung the national Dude, anthem. That's what they said. Gave him the gave that him bad That was so luck. unserious. That was so unserious. I couldn't even oh, watch that whole video, man. bro. That was crazy. Okay, so you got one good team that stood out to you. What about negative? Oh wait, the seventy sixers stood out good. Technically, <laughs> I'm impressed with Tyrese Maxey. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like impressed? trading James Harden. Yeah, he's playing great. But he's always do that. I mean, but yeah, like, but th- I feel like he has a newfound confidence because even he knew that James Harden was getting gone. So it's like now it feels like 
they'll be fine without him. They can see that before James even got traded. So I like the 76ers. Hopefully they can make these new wings they just got and they can incorporate that into their offense. But negative teams. And the Warriors, we already know. Um, the Grizzlies. Uh, I, I might have made a bad judgment call on that one, man. Kind of embarrassed. It's still early, though. That's going to be my excuse. I said that they were going to be better than the Mavs, and they're not looking good right now. So mm. I don't know. Uh, dang it. I'm pretty sure they're like the la- dead last in the entire mm. association right now. Memphis is going to – they are dead last. They are dead. Uh, <laughs> Memphis is going to have a very tough, what's it, suspension 25 games, whatever it is. They'll come They're going to have very like first. Timbers. Yeah. Well, for the rest of this year, it'll be very tough. And I'll say for the rest of the season because they still missing, like you said, wow, all of their big men, all three of them. So you got to live with Xavier Tillman and then run small the whole rest of the time. Wait, three. Who are they missing? They're missing Steve O. They're missing BC. And Brandon Sanchi Clark. Yeah. is going? Oh, oh sorry. No, no, God, no, 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 no. no sorry, wonder. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, sorry. That was a misquote that they had tweeted. Sorry. That was Steven who oh, had okay. the surgery. Sorry. Oh, um, gosh. But, yeah. But he's not a really – he can't guard Jokic. He, he no. can't even guard a nurse. I get them messed up. Yusuf. He can't even guard him. <laughs> so, um. I don't they know. really He's picked up busy yeah, over the weekend, which oh, will that's help right. with the that's defense. Right. That's right. That's right. So, and we love busy. We're glad he found a new home. So, yeah. So maybe they'll be better um, once Ja comes back. But I mean, I wouldn't bank on them. This is going to be a very, no. very tough year for them. Very tough. They'll probably like squeeze into the tenth spot, maybe with the way it's looking right now. I don't even think that's going to happen. The West is way Dang too it. loaded. The West They're is way too the Mavs sneak into the playoffs, and the Mavs don't deserve to be there. God, I said Mavs they to make it to a playing spot. Oh, no, they're not. We're going to stop that right now. This is not sustainable for Luka. The probably. way Luka is playing, Mavs getting I'm top six. It's not sustainable. There's no way the Nuggets stay in top. I mean, the Thunder, dude, they're dropping out. Team oh, Wolves are okay, struggling so a little bit. Up there. Yeah, you that's what I'm saying. They folded as soon as he went against a good team. So that would drop. It's over. I did see that. I did. I was like, he had seven points, or what was it, eleven? It was something low. Literally, and I bet on him because he had back to back thirties. He only know how to play against trash teams. Freaking, oh my god, bro! He too busy worried about skims instead of worried about my money. Oh gosh, but yeah, Jesus. man, the West is packed. Um, but shoot, going into that, I guess we can move on to the freaking blockbuster trade happened right at the middle of the night because I don't know they sneaky <laughs> we only working on LA time not everybody is at what was it 10 a.m over there when it came out like not everybody's up that late and James Harden is now a clipper yes so your thoughts on the trade itself and then I mean... the team or and then the clippers how do you think it's going to work with James being there Ooh, um, it's still, I mean, everybody was acting like they're so scared and like this is just going to be a team to fear. And they've already started putting them in the betting favorites to be one of the top five teams that come out into the championship. Let's everybody just pump our brakes real quick. Before we even get to James, who, you know, didn't show up in the playoffs, but two or three games last you know, in this playoff, we got to get back to Kawhi and Paul George, who never stay healthy when April comes around. So why are we even acting like they're just like the team to beat when that's not even going to be the same team we see once playoffs roll around? But, yeah, I mean, I'm just not impressed. They're calling it a big four now. Like, they're not all 45 years old. I don't understand. Mm. But I mean, I'm a hater. They can all play, but what what was profound to me is um watching ESPN. I think it was Legs who said, "I mean, what's different?" You know, James exactly. Harden doesn't move the needle. They were already a a contender, exactly. you know, with Paul George yep. and, and uh, Chris, not Chris Paul. If Kawhi and Paul stay healthy, so I mean, exactly, they're already a contender. Russ is playing amazing these first three games, so I don't understand it. 
now if I'm Russ, I feel alienated because this isn't Houston where exactly we can go back and forth because you got to those Kawhi and Paul are top two, and then it's James, and then it's Russ. So <laughs> right. So, it's like, so why now, do you him? what do you think about me? But the locker room like, tension I'm has confused. already started. Well, no, they're all friends. You know, they're all from LA, and you know, uh, Russ and James are real friends. I mean. I mean, you know, that the thing locker room be fine, but it's the it's the play. You know, Russell's gonna feel like he needs to get his. And so is that gonna force back into old forcing Russell? And then you gotta remember they got busy on the bench, who gonna come in and get his? Because that's his only thing is to do with to shoot the ball. And so yeah. I'm confused on how it's gonna work. Also, like you said, those wings, they're losing what made them was what made them scary was they had all those defensive and three and D wings. And yep. so they gave away like, like said, three. Yeah, I think that's a very good pickup for uh, Philadelphia, like a super yes. good pickup. Um, losing PJ Tucker literally hurts. just got fleeced. Yes. Oh my God, I can't believe they gave him up. What? No, heck? that's what I was like when I once I saw PJ, I was like freak because that that actually helps the Clippers a lot, a lot. He's a dog. Yeah. Um, and the Clippers and didn't need, need no help defensively. Shoot, they was already a good defensive team, but it may have been because all them wings they just gave up. So maybe they did need PJ in return. That's a hundred percent what it was for, because they gave up all them wings. But I mean, like, uh, you know, like I said on ESPN, PJ isn't isn't the defender he used to be. But no. it's that aura, it's not that Draymond aura. I mean, he'll hit the three, which is fine. That's perfect for them. But he there, he's there for hard, tough, and defense. Mm-hmm. So that'll help. I mean, they already had Russell, but him and Russell together, the intensity is going to be crazy. And so I'm interested to see how Ty Lue makes it work. Yeah. It sucks that we have to be the experiment tomorrow. It pissed me off because oh, wait, he can't play already. There's no way James is playing already, right? You know his fat self is gonna be in that game tomorrow. <laughs> I thought he had to he wait at least two home. games or something, but yeah. Shoot. I don't know if there's any rules pertaining to that, but you know his fat ass about to be playing. <laughs> so we'll see what it looks like well, tomorrow, but that might have been an L for y'all anyways. But if James played, might as well chalk it up, but well, <laughs> I mean, oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm really interested to see how it works for them because those other those other team or players, every time we play them, the Clippers play astronomical good. Like they they shoot sixty yep. percent. Like it's it's a very consistent thing. They love to get up against us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, James always brings some crazy stuff to a team. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that that doesn't happen tomorrow. But like I think it'll be very interesting to see where they go from here because you got two um point guards, if you want to call James Harden a shooting guard. I mean yeah. um top five shooting guard of all time, you know. They got two of the top players of our generation, so at the same position. Mm-hmm. It's a bad I problem. Know. I mean, it's a good problem to have for Ty Lu, but um we'll see what happens with that. I don't even know uh, if Russ will still start, but we'll see how he works that out. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It, I don't know. That's very, very weird. Um, on the six, seven pictures, real quick, mm-hmm. having uh Covington come back to the seven pictures is good. Uh, Marcus Morris is he's always been good. His brother, when he played for us and helped us win in 2020, adequate player. And Marcus is probably the better player, in my opinion, of the yeah. twins. Um, so that's a very, very good pickup for them. I'm just thinking they're all about six eight. Hey, Nicholas Batum, long. Um, so shoot, you got Tyrese Maxey at the one, and then he got all them wings to to help him out on defense. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Ooh, with Joel, and you can't double Joel because all these dudes are strapped. So uh 76ers may I mean they already got a solidified third spot in the East. But, yeah. Like you said, you have a little shakiness about the Bucks, so they may hop them. Yeah, I I can see that if the Bucks don't figure it out, because it appears that the 76ers, I mean, they were figuring out how to guard Giannis until they went away from it. Keep him outside of the paint, make him shoot a whole bunch of jumpers, and you've neutralized neutralized him because he has no outside game. So, yeah, if, if they figure that out. They, they might just be the second best team in the East. Because first is definitely Celtics. I don't see nobody crossing them. Facts. Um, 
uh, quick fire, both conferences, uh, your dark horse picks as of now, like, you know, who's, you know, seen a little bit and you're like, hmm, they may be doing something. Uh, also, if you have seen a player or two who's shown you a little bit this, uh, uh, these first few games that you're liking. Hmm. If I had to go with a player that is impressing me out of these, I think I'm going to go, wait, who did I say earlier was impressing me? I feel like it was somebody from the East. Oh, yeah, Tyrese. I like Tyrese Maxey, what he's doing. I think he's averaging like 30 right now, and he's getting a lot of assists. So I'm really impressed with him, even though I'm not, like, surprised by it. I knew he could do it. I watched him in the playoffs, but. I'm I'm proud of him, mm-hmm. and he's a Dallas native, so yeah, stand mm-hmm. up for real. Um, it's our player, and he's not crazy. It's not a crazy surprise, but Torian Prince, I really really love watching him play. Yeah, um, I like that he, one. He was so good on the T Wolves too. So I mean, it, it's not crazy for him to play like this, but he's he's consistent, and I appreciate the consistency. Yeah, um, he has been good for y'all. And I would, I guess he it's not a dark horse because it is the Mavs and it is Luka and Kyrie, but the Mavs have surprised me on how well they're playing as of the start. And it's only three days, like three games, very small sample size, but Luka has been crazy in these games. So that could be looked at as a negative and a positive. So, I mean, but hey, they're 3-0. <laughs> until they get an L, then I guess we could talk negatively about them. But the and it's there. coming. <laughs> it's coming, Let's that's for figure sure. Figure out when it's coming. Who do they play next? See how they're giving them all these easy teams, bro? They play the Bulls. It's coming Friday. They play the Nuggets, and they're going to get tore up, and I can't wait. I tell you, I think they're going to take the Nuggets down. They're not winning against. And then they give them the Hornets and then the Magic. See how they give them all these easy teams so Luka can look good at the beginning of the season? They do it every year. I'm sick of it. Oh, I'm, I'm calling it now after watching this game. The Magic are making the playoffs in the East. I have not watched the Magic, but I don't disagree. The but way that they played. Well. The, no, he played very, very bad. But their their intensity on defense is, oh, my goodness. That team – just the way they come and play, they're going to win games. And Gary Harris shot five for five from three last night. He shot 43% last year from three. Extremely, extremely well shooter. So hmm. this Magic team, they'll they'll make the playoffs. I don't know if they'll do anything with that, but they're going to have a pretty good season. Anthony Black wasn't playing. I don't know if he's hurt or something. Oh. But the rotation that they had yesterday, I don't know if he's going to fit in to that. <laughs> Because, you know, they, they, well, they're staffed with all these draft picks from these last couple of years. True, so, I mean, true. you know. But, I mean, Anthony Black was a top six pick. I'm sure they're going to fit him somewhere, whatever. No, 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 for sure. Looking. For sure. But, I mean, like, everybody's a top six pick <laughs> on their team. Yeah. True. Because so, I mean, they've been trapped for a long time. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it just depends on who's playing the best. And, I mean, those dudes out there last night were playing hard. They are playing well. So... Um, that's a tough, right. co- uh, tough coaching call for Lloyd Pierce. I think his name is. He balled mm-hmm. his shit. That's all I know about him. But, <laughs> um, he has a. That's an exciting season for Orlando. I I think it's a lot of buzz going on down there. From if I was a fan, I'd be uh, very happy with what I saw. Well, um, in that same sense, I'm gonna pick the Pistons as my dark horse on the East to make the playoffs. I like what I have seen from their young team, and then they're coached by my dog, of course. So I can see Monty leading them boys into the playoffs, at least into the play-in, if nothing. But, yeah, might lose in the first round. It's better than what they did last year. I'm not oh, my a, God, has Bubby played? I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> they're probably – there's no way they're making top six, though. No, 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 probably not. But they'll at least be up there. I mean, yeah. Yeah, these young teams. Well, Magic is big. That's another thing about them. They're huge. So that defense also yeah. just that helps. I don't know about – the Pistons have a couple bigs that are very good um, who've mm-hmm. been getting a lot of uh, hype from everybody around the league. But Right. 
I guess we'll see what happens with them. Um, I will get Orlando on, that. Yeah. They give Devin trouble. <laughs> yeah, we'll time. see what happens when y'all play him this year. Um, quickly, uh, on the, the greatest thing since sliced bread himself, Wimby, uh, he's, <laughs> he's been playing good. I mean, you know, he's done what he needs to do. And, I mean, it's just yeah, strictly – it's, it's not that hard for him to play. Right that well because of how good he is on defense just the fact of being seven four but also he is good on defense i'm not gonna lie his, his defensive game is extremely great all-time great already um yeah and so once he just continues to develop and can he get better that spurs team is um the pressure will be building here in san antonio to start building around him because he's he is special at least on the defensive end for sure yeah, I, I've been uh, – I don't know. That that uh, Mavs game that he played, he had me a little concerned. But I think that was a little bit of him just not shooting and trying to make sure he's getting his teammates involved, which I don't feel like he has to do. And then a little bit of his teammates is just, like, going away from him completely for some odd reason. I don't know why. Because every team y'all play is going to be a mismatch for him. So feed him. I don't understand why they went away from that. But Devin Vassell was cooking, so I guess. Nah, he's good. He he deserved that money. I I mean, they had yeah. to pay somebody, but he definitely deserved that money. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, about Dallas quickly. Uh, Derek Lively, great. He's been playing draft great pick. for them. Great pick for Dallas. Oh my goodness, making he's me look real for stupid for clowning them for uh, tanking <laughs> to get that pick because they used it wisely. No, they used that pick very good. Like, oh man, that's he's been he's playing just well. So much better than um. What's that, that sorry dude name? Powell, Dwight Powell? Yes, Dwight Powell is awful. Um, so and yeah. he's just bigger. He's a seven-footer. I mean, those, it matters. Even in the NBA, those dudes are – you can't teach seven-foot, and that helps. And he's athletic. Yeah. So, Very good for athletic. Derek Lively. Yeah, good for him. Good for Dallas. Um, He might just posterize Nurkic when we play them, but that's okay. That that's probably gonna happen, you know. You Nurkish don't do too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, quickly to finish out the episode on these courts. Um, you yes. said your favorite was the Pacers, but give your opinion on um how you feeling now that we're in the season. It's a it's only a couple games, but now that we're in the season, how do you feel about the tournament itself? There's been a lot of discourse through this uh through the off season and you know starting here. I feel like they're doing a good job of trying to give it more incentive. Like the trophy that they were giving out, I was like, okay, them they don't care about no no effing trophy in the middle of the season. They want to play for the Larry. Like they don't care about that. But now, now that you've changed the courts to some cute courts, now it's giving them more incentive to maybe try to play a little bit better. So, or at least that's how I see it. I have ADHD, so new things make me happy. So. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I'm feeling it now. I'm a little bit excited for the tournament just to see, you know, new things. Different things, yeah. Right. Um, I was watching Gil's Arena yesterday, and what they were saying was trying to think of, you know, better incentives for the tournament. Because, you right. know, I mean, the courts are cool. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a soccer fan now, so I appreciate tournaments alongside the actual league, you know? Right. Um, they do multiple in soccer also while playing international duty during the season. So they do a lot right. of different things. But so I like that, you know, you go win a cup here and then also try to win the league. But basketball fans, I can understand why it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And so I liked what they were saying on Gills Arena. Like um, somebody said that winning this like guarantees you a playoff spot. And I think that's a good incentive for this. Because if you be. win, because that, that makes <clears> it, <throat> or that, they said that, or uh, guarantees you a lottery pick. And I was like, that's also a very, very good incentive yeah, because everybody. Because you play well. Because yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> you just got to gotta win the tournament, and then you could tank the rest of the season. You can your pick anyway. And you probably, you yeah. might get two. <laughs> you might get two lottery picks because you already secured one. But even that playoff spot, that would make even no. the higher teams play well, just in case. You know, like mm-hmm. my team, we experience so many injuries right now. So if we weren't, you know, as good as we are, we could easily drop down to the bottom and never be able to recover. So 
that, that yeah. would be a good incentive. And that's what they were um they were saying that back before you know you know the division championships that used to be a thing in the NBA uh -huh. in the divisions yep. and so they said that um back when they were playing when you would win the division that would be one two and three so whoever won the division automatically got those seats mm, and so okay you know something like that uh you win this you're in the top three something like that I didn't like that as much I think the best is yeah. probably the draft pick because you know if a team does win this and then they suck the rest of the season, is it that right. fair right. to make them have a playoff spot? But I don't know, because it does work that way in soccer. Like, if you finish – if I mean, you could finish fourth in the in the Premier League in England and still be able – like, you automatically qualify to go to the European Cup. And so if you win the European Cup but you don't win your league, you know – you're you're the champions of Europe, but you're not the champions of your country. So I mean, it's a weird thing, but it does give more opportunities for team to win things. And I do understand what they're going at. Right. Yes. The audience that they're sending it to is not as accepting as other audiences. Yeah. So. No, because I know I was not accepting either. But <laughs> so what? I mean, it's all up to the players. Well, they would literally get whatever they want. We see that with James Harden. So. Very much we'll see diva. if it sticks. But like you said, I appreciate the courts too. You like Indy. I like Indies too. They remind me of Sunny D now. I'm looking at it. Uh, the the font <laughs> of Indy. <laughs> the font of Indy. But I'm liking the Spurs one. Dang, that Utah is cold. The Utah is so Kirkland. cold, bro. Yeah, that Utah is. Mm. I like you I even like the too. Bucks. I love ours too, of course. And then the that Bucks Houston is one is pretty. Though. Yes, that H Town one is hard. Yeah, and the Bucks Hawks is cute too. Yeah, I like the Atlanta's. The hot or oh the Bucks, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. That's like um that one court that they had uh what year was it? It was it was Kyrie's first year in Boston where he hit that nasty move uh to split the double team. But it uh they had the little mid uh Wisconsin State somewhere uh -huh. on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I think I know. What you're but it does start Friday. That's the like you said, Denver and Dallas. That's the first game of at least on the western side of the oh, playoff crap. tournament that New will courts. be um, televised. So wow, you just that'll be exciting. <laughs> okay, I might watch that because normally that would be a boring game for me. <laughs> so, so yeah, that'll be cool. Oh, and it is. Yeah, it's this Friday, so. Knicks will be at, so we'll see the Bucks. We'll see the Bucks floor, and we'll see the Nuggets floor. So cool. That'll be exciting. For people man. who don't have league pass, but <laughs> <laughs> those will be the national TV games. Ah, uh, but anything you got up, or any games you're looking forward to this coming week or over the weekend? Let's see. I mean. Not really, I don't think. Kings and Warriors play again? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Yeah, me get, neither. Get this tournament started, I guess. I guess that'll be the game I'm looking forward to. I'm ready to go to an actual game. I we'll know, I can't happens. wait. But... <sighs> We will Wind watch the games down. like usual. Yeah, we'll watch the games like usual. Everybody make sure you can as well, at least the national TV games. Um, make your make your predictions on who wins the pool plays, the group plays of their in-season tournament. It's so weird because it's really pool play when it's just a normal season game. I'm not uh -huh. sure. But <laughs> if you want to wrap this up, you can. Yep. All right. Let's see how much time. Y'all know where to find us at uh, on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, She the NBA Junkie, and on YouTube, Junkies 8446 And we'll see y'all next week. See you next week.